500 kilometers west of Africa, in the coastal waters of the Cape Verde Islands. A band of thunderclouds approaches. It's the warmest time of year. 700 kilometers above, a supremely sensitive satellite called Aqua records a change in the water temperature. Aqua's infrared scanner detects that the ocean has reached 79 degrees Fahrenheit, a critical temperature. Seen here in yellow, warm seawater starts to evaporate fast. Vast areas of vapor suck the sun's heat from the ocean and transfer it to the air. 180 tons of water rises upward every hour. It takes with it energy equivalent to the output of a small nuclear power station. One kilometer up, this vapor condenses into cloud and releases its heat. It raises the temperature of the surrounding air by several degrees. As the air heats up, it rises further, producing powerful vertical winds. These drive the clouds up to 15 kilometers high. As the storm cell grows, the effect of the Earth's rotation below forces it to spin. The thunderclouds merge into a vast circle. A hurricane is born. Viewed from high above, a hurricane is one of nature's great powerhouses. At any one moment, it's generating as much energy as the world's entire electrical output. Seen from the International Space Station, the hurricane crosses the Atlantic Ocean and enters the Gulf of Mexico, where warmer water feeds this gargantuan storm. Humans are about to bear the brunt of the power of the sun on the ocean. A hurricane acts like a release valve when the ocean gets too warm. It helps balance the climate by redistributing the heat around the planet. This particular one cooled large swathes of the Atlantic by over four degrees Celsius, returning the ocean to equilibrium.